After leaving the beautiful Nuri Islands, we played dodgems sailing through the huge field of anchored coal carriers off Mackay, all while hauling in a nice Spanish mackerel. Then it's on to Kulu Island where we have our first real anchoring disaster. Have a look at the dramas we had and tell us in the comments what we could have done differently. We're always happy to learn. What a beautiful anchorage this one has been. We've been told about Nuri Islands and how good the anchorage can be. And in the weather that we had last night, which was Eastleys, it was simply beautiful, well protected. Sure, there's a bit of a current that runs through here, but we've had good holding as well. And we wake up to this. Yeah, the are the only ones here. First time in the whole season that we've had an anchorage to ourselves. But we're leaving. Off to Curly. Rob up getting the anchor, and our anchor is actually all the way back here. There's the little anchor boy. And you can see the current running around it. We can't sail, we might as well fish. Lines are out. Four days without catching fish. Our dream time's not very happy about that. Oh, and there's a belly. <laughs> That is the biggest patch of mackerel and birds working I have ever seen out here. Unbelievable. And we've got a quarter fish so we haven't even got a, a lure in the uh, water at the moment. The wind filled in mid-morning allowing us to turn the engine off and 
and by mid-afternoon had picked up to around 20 knots. Weather helm generated by the big mizzen combined with a sizeable swell on the stern quarter made things marginal for the auto helm, so Rob took over on the wheel. Must have hyped up when we heard the first sound of something falling over below. Ended up dropping in six and a half, over six and a half by the time you got it down. Beer coming on, on cider. Okay, let's toodle in because if it's still deep, I mean we can't put down enough scope because if we get a change of tide and we, you know, and it swings that way, we're in the rocks. Here we go again, guys. Still at nine here. Bye, scary going in this close to these rocks. An episode only goes for 20 minutes, thereabouts. I think probably you've just seen an episode in Us Anchoring. <laughs> this is what happens when you're chasing the northerly south. There's not so many northerly anchors. Gentle reverse, please. Gentle reverse. Has a gentle reverse here. This is a face of desperation. Please, please hold. I want a cider. It's not holding, guys. We're 
we're not holding. We're not holding, right? We are not holding, right? Oh, far out! Seriously! There are only three places of sand in this place. Right where these boats have anchored. Not possible. <laughs> okay. I'm going into that bay and it looks very rocky in there. Just let you all see the beautiful sunset out there. Hmm, we're going to have dark, dark skies very shortly. No sails are put away or anything yet. Have a look at Noel Patrick's book, will you? Hey. Anchorage F, yeah. Let's give it F. A rocky bay with stony beach without attraction but useful in northerly weather. Approach from the east holding a clear curly island ashore to starboard to avoid isolated rock which gently breaks. Large bay to west is foul and should not be considered. Great. Okay. We also have the problem that it's huge tides. So not a thing other than it's a rocky bottom. There you go. So, just saying to everyone here on our episode that's now taken the episode of total anchoring to a new level is that I'm not quite sure I like the idea of going all the way in here but anyway we've got huge tides and we'll see how we go I'm heading straight for that anchor mark right now Rob I will tell you when I get to the first one and then I'll tell you when if you want me to go further to the second one but they are quite far in we're at 8.9 now I'm coming up on the first one and we're at 6 Point eight over, six point eight. Coming to the second one now. At six, at six over. Okay, are we at the second one? Just a little bit further. We're at five over five. Did you put out, mate? And we can't get the anchor in. I mean, are they just hooked in rock? With a shitload of chain down? Okay. That's my initial thought. Mm -hmm. I'll put in another 20 minutes of chain. I'm just going to do that piece again. Okay. So. We're running out of light, we're running out of options. Cross fingers, everyone. Cross fingers. I think that's all we've got left. Otherwise, we're going to have to give a toast to Neptune if we dig in. Did the bow come round 
We sit here and we watch the plotter. And as you can see, we've just got a little distance marker there to show us how far from the anchor we actually are. And the boat moves around in a little arc. That's if all was going well. You saw how bad our anchoring was tonight. Well, you know, sometimes it happens and we've got a rocky bottom. There's nothing much we could do. But we've decided to do anchor watch that means we sit here or in my case stand watching the boat the distance that we have marked from the anchor to the boat and we have an arc going um, it's tracking and that's good it's supposed to be just tracking and we're supposed to be just swinging an arc your turn Rob fun discovered why we had trouble anchoring the entire bay is just rock I don't know whether you can see it there in this uh, pre-dawn light but our anchor ball is only about mm, I guess 10 meters from all the rock that's showing it well low tide was an hour ago we got down to 2.9 meters here and we're 50 odd meters back from our anchor at the moment with all the chain out. So the northerly wind blew all night, nice and consistently, held us back here. And uh, you could put this one down to the dodging of all If you're enjoying our videos, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us with YouTube to reach more people. If you also hit the bell button, you'll be notified each time we release a new episode. Come sail with us again soon.